We engineers are sometimes very similar to our own creations. How you may ask? Well, when we decide to move our leg, an electric signal is sent from the surface of our brain to the muscle, leading to movement. Robots act in a similar way. Engineering and biology collide as nowadays some chemical and computer science engineers are responsible to recreate electrical components able to mimic certain characteristics of neurons. But wait! What are neurons and how do they play a major role after having decided to make a movement? How can they connect brain and muscles? A neuron is a cell, it is made of different parts. First comes the cell body containing nucleus and cytoplasm. Then dendrites, the axon, the membrane of the axon, and the axon terminals or synaptic button. Everything starts in the brain. First we decide to make a physical movement through the motor cortex, different zones having different roles. An electrical signal or action potential in the cell body situated in the primary motor cortex is then formed and carried across what we call the pyramidal neurons. The action potential is described by the following graph. Depolarizations and polarizations take place due to the entry and exits of specific ions on the membrane. The stronger the movement, the bigger the frequency of action potentials. This signal then arrives in what we call a synapse, or a connection between two neurons. At this point, the electric signal is transformed into a chemical signal that releases neurotransmitters of the presynaptic button into the synaptic cleft. These neurotransmitters are then received by receptors on the postsynaptic button of what we call the motor neuron. This synapse appears in a zone called the spinal cord. This will result in an apparition of a new electric signal which will be then sent towards the muscle we initially decided to use. A new synapse between the axon terminals and the neuromuscular fibers is created and just like previously described, the new electric signal translates itself in mechanical or physical energy resulting in movement. This however remains a perfect scenario. How do you think the signals can be affected? Let me know.